Yo, what's up guys? Nash here coming at you with a brand new video and today we have a fancy Comanche whiteboard which is pretty cool because we've never done one of these before so uh, yeah, pretty stoked about that. Today we're talking about something that I think has been under talked about that barely anybody talks about um, at least on YouTube and that is how much money it actually takes to start drop shipping. Um, I think there's a common misconception that a lot of people think it's like a get rich quick scheme that you know they can throw in 50 bucks and immediately make like 500,000. Um, and the reality is it's not that. Um, I've, I find there's basically two different camps when it comes to Shopify dropshipping and that is number one, there is the people that are unsuccessful, that are complaining, that don't know, uh, you know what's going on, why their ads aren't working, all that different stuff. And then there's the people that are successful that are making like a million dollars a year in it at Shopify, which I'm not at that level yet. I'm definitely striving to get to that point. Um, but there's kind of a disconnect. Um, and I've kind of noticed uh, what it is, I think, um, just through helping people. And there's there's basically two types of people that, that you can help. There's, or that I have helped. There's the people that I give advice to and they're like, okay, let me implement it right now. And then, you know, within two weeks, they're making $1,000 a day, which has happened multiple times. Or there's the people that I give advice to and, you know, they, they complain or they give me an excuse why they can't do it. And, you know, they're, they either quit or they're still at the same point that they're at. So I think the difference between these two people is that one is willing to spend money and is actually eager to spend it so that they can get a result. Whereas the other one is like, hey, I, I just spent $30 and, and nothing's happened. I didn't get any sales. What's the deal? And then, you know, they cry scam. So how much does it actually cost? Well, uh, let me break it down to you um, in terms of testing. So if uh, I always test new products, um, especially when I'm in a niche, I want to test at least three products at a time uh, on Instagram. Um, ideally, I'd like to do at least five just to you know sort of test out the waters. But you know, let's say three to start. So we got product one, we got product two, and we got product three right here, right? Okay. So in order to test out a product, obviously you're, you're gonna want to have a pretty decent idea of how well it will do. And we've done um, videos about how to actually find products. I think I did one like yesterday. Uh, I'm pre-recording these in advance. So, um, but there should be a video up pretty recently about um, how to actually find products that are hot selling. So if you haven't checked that out, then definitely do that. Um, but that brings up a good point is that you should learn as much as possible before you actually go out and spend money uh, so that you can eliminate your risk or not eliminate, but at least reduce the risk that you have. Okay. So let's say product one um, is in one niche, you know, maybe the same niche, maybe same niche or different niche doesn't really matter. But we basically want to find three influencers that are between um, I don't have to write it. Well, I'll write it down here. Between 100,000 to 300,000 uh, followers with decent engagement and all that stuff. The reason why is because for these pages, you're going to spend anywhere from like 10 to 30, maybe $35 max is what I would pay for these. So if you end up losing your money, you end up losing $30. Well, I mean, at least it's $30. It's not like 100 that you would spend on like a million follower page when you don't know that the product will work. And, uh, you know, if you want me to do videos about my testing strategy, I can do that. Um, but just for now, that's uh, just just know that that's what it is. Now that we have that in place, um, basically what I usually do is I like to test a product that I think is definitely going to work on at least three pages. Um, sometimes if it, if it really bombs on the first one, I won't I won't go with it um, again. But usually I'd like to test at least on three pages. So let's say three pages and they're in, say, all of them have around 200,000, somewhere around in that range. Um, so we're going to pay around $15, let's just say, on average. So, so three times 15. Um, three times 15 for the second one and three times 15 for the third one. So that's going to bring us to a grand total of $45 for each of the above. Okay. So $45 for product one, two, and three. That's how much you're spending on ads to test out. Okay. Now, based on this information, uh, that's going to tell you that you're going to need at least $150 just to test out these three products. Right? So that brings me to profit margins. Okay, so yes, you'll pay $45, but let's say we're, send, we're selling, um, let's say like a $10 product, okay? And the, the first test, we sell this $10 product and say uh, we make like four sales, okay? Maybe this one we make two sales, and maybe this one we make 10 sales. So four times 10 is equal to 40. So we got a loss here, right? Because counting product cost and all that stuff, 
Uh, we're already down five from our ads, plus minus product cost, say the product uh, is $3 times four, that's an extra 12, so $17 down, right? So we're $17 in the hole right here, okay? Here, we only made two sales times 10, okay, is equal to 20. So we're already $25 down, plus an extra three times two, which would be six. So we're at a grand total of $31 down, okay? And then here, looks like we made a profit, right? So we got 10 times uh, times $10 equals 100, okay? And then 10 times three, because that's our product cost, is $30. So you're looking at minus 30, minus 45, so minus 75. So we made a $25 profit here. So this would be a potential option that we could use to scale. We would have to figure out what, what we can do to you know, maximize our profit, but this is something that we could potentially scale. Whereas these two, maybe not so much, or maybe you can look at one ad specifically that may have worked better than the other ones. But as a whole, you can tell that we're actually uh, you know, in the negative for what we're doing, and that's okay because we're testing. Um, so the, the mindset that you have to get into is one of somebody who's testing, like a mad scientist. You want to find what's working. And it's not necessarily about making a profit on the first round. Will you make a profit and should you make a profit and should you uh, sort of strive for that? Yeah, absolutely. I always try to make a profit on the front end. But you also have to realize that it's all part of the testing phase. I found a bunch of products that don't work and I end up losing a lot of money on them. And that's okay because that's part of the process of figuring it out. So. Um, as a whole, to, to do this test, we needed $150, which we didn't end up spending $150. We spent, uh, let's see, this is 48 minus 25 is, what is that, 23. So 150 minus 23 is what, 27, 127? So we ended up uh, minus 127 on this test, which is you know fine, because we figured out that this is a winning ad set, or not ad set, that would be for Facebook ads, but this is a winning uh, thing that we could do. Uh, mind you, this is all for Instagram. Okay? This is a winning product uh, influencer combo that we could use to then go forward and uh, start making some more sales. So we figured that out through spending basically $127. Now, this would be the bare minimum. Um, I use about $150 when I get start got started, but before I started Instagram influencers, I literally spent about $1,000 in Facebook ads and only made a few sales because I was a total idiot and didn't know what I was doing with, with Facebook. And I didn't, didn't have any classes, I didn't have any mentorship, I didn't have anything. So um, that just goes to show you that you should be learning as much as you possibly can so you can avoid the risk um, of, of losing money in the long run. So, um, so basically you need to start with at least 150. I would personally recommend, especially if you have no experience whatsoever, I would recommend that you have at least $250 to start, okay? If you don't have $250 to start drop shipping, then you need to get a job, you need to mow someone's yard, you need to do something to get that $250. Because if you don't, if you only have 50 bucks, you're gonna blow through that $50 in like three posts and you aren't gonna have enough data to test and you're not gonna have enough data to figure out what's working, what's not. And then you're, you know, you're not gonna be able to test anymore because you only had $50. So have at least 250, ideally if you have more, that would be outstanding. But um, you know, for all the people that I'm helping out, for all the people that you know, ask me questions, whatever, um, I always recommend to have at least $250 to start. Bare minimum. If you don't have that, then you should get a job. You can, you should, you know, get some money before you can do this. So, make sure that you have this uh, before you get started. And this is the basic, uh, you know, kind of breakdown of what I would do and and how much it actually costs to to get started. Guys, two hundred and fifty dollars to start a business. When has that ever been possible in the history of the world? Pretty sure it hasn't. Um, so you, we are incredibly lucky to live in a time where you can literally spend $250 and start up an empire that you can literally make millions of dollars later down the road, um, you know, through spending and, you know, spending more on advertisements, all that different stuff. So, um, lastly, I do want to talk about profit just a little bit. Um, so we did cover this, but a lot of times you guys see those people that are like, oh, I made a million dollars last year and they're driving around in the Lamborghini, the Ferrari, whatever. Um, a million dollars on Shopify, then they show you the screenshot. It says like 1.2 million made. Listen, most of the time there is only a 30% profit in that. So 30% of 1.2, that's like 400,000. That's still a ton of money, right? Don't get me wrong. But they didn't net or they didn't uh, actually make 1.2 million. They only netted and profited 400,000. Okay, so that's important to keep in mind. 
Um, for me, for uh, one of my stores is actually really good in terms of profit margin and it's about, depending on the month, between 50 to 60%, which is definitely not the norm. The norm is about 30%, maybe 40% on the higher end. Um, so yeah, so just keep that in mind when, when you're actually building out your store. Yeah, you might make 10,000 in a month, but you only take home maybe 4,000 of that. So, you know, just good things to keep in mind. So hopefully this video was enlightening and helped you guys figure out sort of, uh, you know, where you're where the, the money's going and how much it actually takes to, to start up a, a shop, drop shipping business. It's not really that much. $250 is not that much. Um, and you can get started. So if you haven't already started, you can actually use the link below. Um, I'll leave a link that you can get started with the 14 day free Shopify trial. Um, and that'll get you started. So thank you guys so much for watching. I need you in the morning.